In this video, video number 18 in our JavaScript series, I'm going to talk about JavaScript throw statements. Um, the throw statements is uh, usually used to allow you to create an exception. So uh, we're going to use that side by side with a try catch statement. And it's uh, going to allow you to control the program, how it flows, and how it, ger it generates accurate error messages. So let me go ahead and jump to Dreamweaver and let me declare a new variable x uh... let me speak to you, uh, let me tell you a little about the example uh... the example is going to try a var take a variable between zero and ten and it's going to check, uh, check if the variable is less than zero it's going to throw an error and if it's less than if it's greater than ten it's going to throw an error because we're going to be asking for a variable between zero and ten so basically it's a small um, mathematical um, type of uh, example. So the variable x is going to give a prompt and the prompt is going to say enter a variable between 0 and 10 and the default value is going to be empty value. Let me close that. Okay, so here's how it's going to be. Um, I'm going to do a try statement and I'm going to make a uh, NIF if x is greater than 10 so if x is greater than 10 what I'm going to do I'm going to throw an error I'm gonna name it ERR1 and else if uh, x is less than 0 I'm going to throw another error and I'm going to name it ERR2 so till here it looks pretty easy and nothing straightforward nothing very fancy I'm going to close the try statement and I'm going to start with the catch the catch catches the ER and what does it do with it basically the ER goes to check if ER equals the string that the throw through ERR1 and if it's that, then it's going to prompt and uh, throw an alert on the web page. Um, what's the alert? Your number is greater than ten. So that's basically it. Uh, in case er equals equals, let me put an equal equal right here. Sorry about that, I missed it out. Um, er two. In that case, throw an alert and say your number is greater than uh, is l is less than zero. Uh, okay, so I'm going to run that and I'm going to put a minus one, so it's gonna prompt me and tell me your number is less than zero. Let me refresh the page again and give a number like 12 which is greater than 10 so your number is greater than 10 let me run that for the third time and give a normal number like 6 which is between 0 and 10 and nothing happens which is really supposed to happen because I didn't put a rule if number is really between 0 and 10 so I think basically that's it and this is one of the most important tutorials we had so far I hope you benefited to the, from this tutorial. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions, please refer to the JavaScript forum on Coder Island. And thank you.